Na kwingine kwa ni kwamba familia ya jamaa walokufa maji eneo la Pirates huko Mombasa imeeleza kilichojiri kabla ya mafa hayo kuwafika. Kulingana nao boti ilozama ilikuwa imebeba abiria wengi kupita kiasi. Haya najiri huku waziri wa uchumi wa bahari na maziwa Salim Vuria akipiga marufuku uogeleaji na shughuli zote za baharini kuanzia saa kumi na moja unusu jioni kama anavyotueleza mwana habari wetu Francis Mtalaki. Simanzi imekubika familia hii iliyofika Mombasa kujivinjari. Hii ni baada ya boti walimokuwa kisafiria kuzama majini na jamaa zao wawili kufariki. Kulingana nao, jumla ya abiria walikuwa watu 12. Mmoja wao akatilia shaka uwezo wa boti kuimili idadi hiyo na kushuka pamoja na watoto wawili. Hata hivyo, wengine tisa waliosalia wakaanza safari ila baada ya dakika chache boti ilizama na kusababisha maafa ya watu wawili huku mmoja akiwa katika hali maututi hospitalini and uh, we jumped out of the boat three of us me my grandchild and my son in law one of the son in law we said maybe it's overloaded and we, we said that we made uh, we, we don't require the boat now because it seems the boat maybe is a faulty but the guys insisted no the boat is uh, fine we can go he wanted me not to go, get out of the boat as well but uh, forcefully i just jumped out we were just at the shore at that time but he said no it's okay we will have no problems i asked about the life jackets as well but he said no there's no there won't be any problem we'll just go and we'll just come back Mipango ya kuzuru Mombasa, Malindi na Kishalamu kama ilivyo desturi ya familia hii kila mwaka ikikatizwa ghafla. Jamaa hawa wanadai kuwa walisitiza kuvaa boa ya ukozi ila mmiliki wa boti alidai kuwa kila kitu kishwari. We have experienced this thing no one else should experience. You know there were no coast guards. There was no life jacket, you know. There should be safety measures there. You know there should be a limit to the boat. Limited people should enter the, uh, the boats. Aida, wanadai kuitisha msaada kwa zaidi ya dakika 25 kabla ya msamaria mwema kujitokeza na sasa wakitaka maafisa wa mamlaka ya bahari na maziwa KME, shirika la Coast Guard na KWS kukaza kamba zaidi ili kuepuka maafa. If the coast, you know we were struggling in the water for around 20 25 minutes with all the family members inside there. We were shouting for the boats. It was just good luck that after 25 minutes we got a passenger boat. Waziri wa uchumi wa bahari na maziwa Salim Mvuria amepiga marufuku uogeleaji na shughuli baharini baada ya saa moja unusu jioni operesheni dhidi ya boti kufanywa mara moja ili kuhakiki wapo wana vifaa vyote vya usalama pamoja na kuendeleza kampeni ya kuhakikisha kanuni zote zimefuatwa hasa msimu huu wa sherehe. Yeah, chombo chochote kinachoingia baharini kiwe kimetimiza vile viwango vya usalama ambayo inastahili kwa mfano wawe na life jackets na kuanzia leo hata hizo life jackets tutazifanyia ukaguzi baada ya kisa hichi familia sasa inataka serikali kuweza kuweka mikakati zaidi ya kudhibiti visa kama hivi na maafa kutokea kupitia taasisi ambazo zinahusiana na usalama wa bahari na maziwa Francis Mtulaki Ringa Citizen Mombasa